Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. Yes, I know it's Christmas paper, but as a friend of mine says, you know, penguins aren't just for Christmas, and it says, to the coolest friend ever. And the reason I'm using this paper is it's a freebie that you can get during celebration, and celebration is August through September. And for every £45 you spend, you can get a free item. And this penguin paper is one of the free items. So I really wanted to show it to you. And to be honest, as a crafter, you know, it's never too soon to get started with your Christmas projects, is it? You know, because um, if you're making one of handmade cards for Christmas, it takes a bit of time. So you need to get started early. So I'm going to use the Stamparatus. And I'll put my little piece here of basic white inside like that I'm just going to line everything up and I'll show you the stamp set we're going to use it's a matching one called the penguin place I'm going to use this little fella here so let's get him out sorry for the noise Eek. and we're going to put him down so I think I'm actually going to move all of this along into the centre so I can see what I'm doing better. Because of my magnets, it'll hold everything in place. So I've got here, him there, and then I'm going to use the sentiment again to the coolest friend ever, which is this one here. Um, yep. Just checking it says what I think it says. And then I'm just going to line this up here at the bottom, which can be a bit tricky. But take your time. I should have done this first, getting my other magnet out. I can well and truly hold this paper down. Okay. There we go, <coughs> and we're going to stamp in Memento because it's a nice black ink. And the reason I want the stamp artist is I know I might have to re-stamp the penguin twice because I don't think my ink pad is the best. It's had it for years and I think it needs to be re-inked again. <coughs> well, it's not too bad actually, but I think I'm going to just do the penguin one more time. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. Don't do that. And there is our little penguin. That's what we have so far. So let's give everything a little clean up so we can remove it. Okay, and remove these two. And let me see. I think on this one I used, did I use yet? Yeah. I use his little hat and his um, scarf. So let's get those two bits out as well. So here's his hat and sorry for the noise, there's his scarf. Okay. And we're just going to put our little guy back in place here with our magnets and we're just going to arrange his hat okay and then we're going to just quickly um, stamp in fresh freesia ink mm, let's get that out of the way well, first we're going to pick this up with our lid. Okay, so before I stamped in fresh freesia ink, I remember I needed to stamp his scarf as well in fresh freesia, and I also need to stamp his tootsies. So we can do all of that in one go. So I'm going to ink up there his scarf, and then we're going to use some pumpkin pie to just ink up here his tootsies, his little feet, and we're just going to. Ooh. 
yeah that's fine okay so let's give it a clean up so all cleaned up and stamped out as you can see so let's get started to assemble our card let's firstly stick his little scarf on on the end I did just stamp his tootsies underneath him so instead of trying to fussy cut them out there's his little scarf now I do want to show you uh, you could have fussy cut him using this little this is the matching punch obviously and this will cut his little tootsies out and you could have cut each one out and done it but I couldn't be bothered so I've done it this way but it's a glorious punch and this comes as a bundle so that's what we have so far so let's get assembling our card base is fresh freesia so that's a standard A6 card base that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half and then like I said as I said I've got this gorgeous penguin paper that matches the stamp set and the punch so beautifully so you can buy your punch in the catalogue that will come out in August you can buy this comes out in August which is you can buy your punch and your some cardstock and your stamp set and an ink and then of course you can get your paper for free so now I've got a piece here of Misty Moonlight and I'm not going to score it in half I'm just going to take the lazy purse way out and just fold it in half and give it a good press down with my bone folder and this is going to make my little flap at the front like that okay and then I've got a piece of designer series paper that's going to go on the front but first I'm going to bring my magnets in and I'm just going to use some tear and tape here I'm going to put my first magnet on the front where I think I want it and the next one's going to get hidden behind our stamped image so let's just make sure we're going to get it in the right place so press down like that now we know everything's going to be in the right place take the backing off here if it wants to fight you, you fight it back okay now we're going to put down our design is his paper on top like this to hide our magnet and actually the one thing I'm going to do before I stick down the side of just remember before I stick everything down is I want to put my little ribbon pull so a little bit of ribbon we don't need much and this is the fresh freesia ribbon which is just simply glorious I'm just going to fold it in half here and use a bit more tape I'm just going to fold it in half and put it wherever I want it and hold it down securely with my tape and get the bucking off and now wherever that piece was here we can stick it down now and it will cover all of our sins as long as we get it straight that is we'll try to at least make a good attempt like that okay so now you can pull this open so now we can take this piece off here and we can stick down our little fella you can see it's a piece of scrap that I've used before for something else and you don't want to waste anything in your craft room put that down and then I'm actually going to use some Tombow on the back here oopsie daisy and Eek. not a good idea to cover your 
grid paper in Tombow. Let me turn it over before I have an accident. And there we go. There's your cards. So, what do you think? I think this will look cute. One of my first Christmas cards, so I'm happy to get started. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want inform more information about this project, supply list, links to my online shop, all that good stuff, it'll be on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. So thank you once again, and until next time, enjoy my creative. Bye.